A typical fuel oil system consists of bunker tanks at the bottom. They can be double bottom tanks or wing tanks into which the oil is bunkered. The transfer pumps transfer the fuel oil from bunker tanks to settling tanks where water is separated from the oil. After primary separation, the oil is sent to purifiers where purification takes place. It is then passed to service tanks. Individual settling and service tanks are provided for diesel and heavy oil. Supply and booster pumps are positive displacement pumps. They are duplicated in the system. The supply pumps transfer the oil from the service tanks to mixing column. The fuel from the mixing column flows to the suction side of booster pump. A flow meter measures the oil consumption. The booster pumps supply this purified oil to heaters, viscosity regulator, full flow filter and to the fuel main. The full flow filter has very fine mesh elements. A bypass filter is provided to clean the full flow filter during operation. The unused oil is returned either to the service tank or to the mixing column. In any dynamic system, the process is reflected by its parameter. Any parameter deviating in value from its normal levels will signify a change in the system process. For example, if the temperature of the oil at engine inlet is higher than normal, it indicates a wrong setting on the viscosity regulator. If the pressure of the oil at the engine inlet is lower than normal, it indicates a clogged filter. Safety devices warn the operator of any deviation. The highlighted devices of the system act as frontline safety provisions which trigger the actual safety alarms, shutdowns or isolations. Temperature transmitters, pressure transmitters, Level transmitters also provide first level of protection against system breakdowns.